I'm Blake from Econet. Today I'm going to talk about this TAPO Matter over Wi-Fi uh, wall switch. So I have lots of uh, smart home stuff, Z-Wave, Zigbee, Matter, Wi-Fi. I try to keep it down to the one smart things hub, but behind this uh, painting there's a switch for my outdoor security lights and it's not working. So I come back from a few months away and it's offline. And uh, I've had a bit of a history with the Z-Wave where it seems to be quite often that happens. So I'm not too happy about Z-Wave uh, recently. These are the security lights in question up there. And I've been setting them to come on with a separate motion sensor to kind of catch the raccoons on my, my camera out here. It helps a little bit. And you know, just for a security measure, I like them to come on maybe if somebody opens the front gate. Matter seems to be getting a bit of bad press about compatibility, but I mostly just wanted to work with my smart things, and I probably have uh, seven or eight Matter devices, switches, and a few door sensors, and so on. And I've had good luck so far in terms of the easy install and uh, reliability. Um, let's just get this open and see what that includes. The uh, MAR connectors, I think that's what they're called. switch itself. Um, again, I don't like this just a single button. I'd like to see these switches with a bottom button for off and a top button for on, but this one just has it on the bottom. And it has a face plate, which is nice for uh, uh, tidying up the, the uh, look of it. And so let's just uh, see about getting this installed. All right, so I was expecting a matter QR code in the way of a sticker that I would have put on the side of this, which I've seen before. And I don't see it here in the way of a sticker, so I'm not sure if it's missing or if I don't need it. I know I can just use these numbers at the bottom as kind of a backup plan. This is one of my favorite paintings, and my wife uh, is a painter. But anyway, let's get this out of the way and get to the switch and install this matter switch. All right, so I found the QR code. It was in the bottom of this bag. I'm gonna put that on the, uh, the side of it so I can use it in the future. But that again, that reminds me that, you know, you gotta make sure you don't cover it all up and completely finish the install before you do the pairing. All right, so I pulled it out and it doesn't have any labeling on it. And that means it's a Z-Wave sample I got from one of our suppliers. I was buying test samples, you know, several years ago. So um, to be fair to them, it wasn't a production unit yet. Uh, so I'm not going to blame them for it uh, failing. So these newer switches, at least the uh, matter ones, don't seem to care which one is load of the two black there, which is load and which is line, which makes it a little easier because the older switch is uh, dead. But basically I'm going to hiccup, hook up the... Um, two black wires to the two black wires, and the white wires to the white wires, and the ground to the green. Cancel that, it does have labels. Another uh, failed Z-Wave product, unfortunately. Probably paid uh, 40 or $50 for this. Well, you know, five or six years ago, or maybe 10 years ago. All right, so I've got it wired up, and it's already shown up on my phone asking me uh, if I wanna pair it and I'll show you that in a minute. But I have the power on here temporarily just to get it paired. And then I'll uh, turn off the power, tuck it back in and turn the power back on again. I simply uh, scanned the QR code and it came into SmartThings uh, easily. And uh, even before that, it popped up automatically on my phone when it first powered up, but I had to uh, start it over once I restarted it. Anyway, it came in easily and paired, and uh, I set it up, and it was quite simple. I have sped up this video here, but it did take less than a minute to get the whole thing done, including renaming, which is uh, what I'm doing here. I renamed it and put it in the uh, proper room that I wanted it in. All right, so it's back together, and it works by local clicking and with my phone. I'll put the painting back up. All right, so now that I have my security lights working again, I'm going to set up a few automations. So, you know, at certain times, you know, at late at night, if somebody comes in the gate or with a motion sensor, I have this one sealed up with some silicon tape to help it survive the rain. Somebody comes into the yard, 
or even to help me catch the raccoons that have been trying to get into my uh, pool. All right, so in conclusion, what do I like about it? I think it's uh, mostly the fact that it paired uh, very easily and the price. Um, I'm going to be happy to get rid of this unreliable $40 item. Um, what I, the only thing I don't like about it is the, uh, the way the switch works, as I mentioned earlier. Ideally, the switches should be down, even if they're digital, they should be down for off. Oh, sorry, they should be down for off and on for up. And I'll be covering another, uh, in another video, I'll be covering this sawn off uh, matter two channel wall switch, and they also have a three channel. Uh, matter is getting more popular, lots of new devices coming up. I think it has a great future. Cheers.